So you have a guy walking through the forest and he doesn't look like he belongs there. He's wearing maybe a suit and tie or something like that. And this big fucking grizzly bear comes up to him and stands on his hind legs. And the guy pulls out his iPhone and he goes to the app store and he's going through the apps. And the app voice comes in, the, the voice comes in and says, need to get rid of a grizzly bear. And then the grizzly bear just rips the dude to shreds. And then the voice says, there's not an app for that. Smartphones are for stupid people, switch to Nokia. So it's like an ad, it's like an ad unit. Yeah, so that introduces like this, it's like a guerrilla ad agency where, with the focus being like, the way that you can sell something to someone digitally is different than like, so a commercial on TV, like if you watch it on your computer, it doesn't sell as well. So. Yep. Hi, I'm Cindy. This is my partner, Peter, and our project is called Sherlock Homeboy. Pump, 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 pump up the bass. Sherlock Homeboy is on the case. You got a crime? He's got the time. Needs to be solved? He's got the time to solve it for y'all. <laughs> yeah, sorry, hold on. Sherlock Homeboy. Uh, awesome. So, Nine, he's got a keen sense eight, of observation. Seven, six, five. Old school street smart three. Is his <laughs> at Dr. Watson on his Twitter feed to help you out when he needs a lead. Thank so you, Sherlock. You we're done. Thanks. We're good. We're good, yeah. What's the idea? Hey guys. <laughs> That's it. Hey guys, my name is Alex. Um, my idea is basically two guys in their late 20s that are incredibly paranoid about a zombie apocalypse, and because of a prank, they think it's happened, so they've locked themselves in their basement, and the web series is just their video diaries of them surviving this zombie apocalypse, which we know isn't real. Um, but and they, they assume, are we assuming that it's like a reality as if they're assuming that it is real? Yes, they're, they're assuming that it is real and they have Twitter accounts and Facebooks where they can connect with people in real life so people okay. watching can talk to them. Okay. Thank you. Hey guys, my name is Brett. Uh, my idea is kind of similar to Nick's. It's called uh, 140 Second Stories. And what it is is you go on Twitter, you solicit ideas from people based around a theme, love, being drunk, whatever. You make a short film based on that theme. Uh, and then where mine's a little different than Nick's is whoever has the sort of winning tweet, you search them on Google and you add in all those personal details like the Arcade Fire video uh, into the actual story itself, Facebook photos, stuff like that. So you're mass producing individual people's ideas. It can start off as a conversation because the, the, uh, the contest to get your tweet picked could become something. And then as the technology gets better, it could be yep, mass produced. Got it. Cool. Hi, my name is Matthew. Uh, my, my idea is called La La Stories. It's about creative people trying to make it in La La Land. Um, it's shot documentary style. It's mostly started uh, based in music. Um, so musicians get real life singer songwriters playing themselves, playing their own song, and uh, shoot short documentary bits that are two to three minutes long that dissect what that song is about. Do you got access to like musicians? Already got them lined up, got the li labels are cleared. And, um, and we also can de create the engagement where you put the raw footage up and you let people remix it, cover the songs, and that kind of stuff cool. along got with it. photographs. Right and you have the labels lined up, and the music is available yeah. for this weekend? Yes. OK. Hi. I'm Lena. Here's my idea. The couple, they have no money. They lost their money in the recession. They need to make some quickly. They're funny. That's all they've got. They start doing comedy on the street corner, but they're illegal. Do you support them? Do you not? They're making cash. Do you tweet and help them get more followers? Do you not? Do you post it on your status? Do you not? But they're making a lot of money. They might be making more money than you. All they've got going is they're funny, and they're getting more followers. Cool. Thank you. All right, hello. Brace yourselves, folks, because in this case, one plus one equals three. Inception meets the Adjustment Bureau to create Dream Journal. Now, through, an through a thrilling set of events, our hero finds out that he can become super lucid. Not only can he manipulate the environment in his own dream, but if he can infiltrate somebody else's dream and create an event there, he writes that event into the future. Now, what creates more personalization than con invading somebody's dream, than controlling someone's life? What creates more thrash than the philosophical question, what would you do with all of that power? Each episode could be a dream and the resulting consequence, dream journal. Cool. Uh, my name is Matthew. Uh, my dream's a choose your own adventure story. So it's about a girl. She 
is going through life. She's in technology. She's uh, basically in the fashion world also, and she's trying to get to the airport. And things happen. She breaks down. Her car breaks down, and then basically, she goes on a whirlwind from there. And she's trying to figure out how she's going to get to the airport so she can get to Milan. So uh, basically, things will go down, and at the end, she doesn't make it to the airport, and she's going to be fired. So then, that's where the audience is going to choose what's going to happen and where things are going to go. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Uh, Chris Strickland. Uh, sort of taking a page out of Fail Blog and the success of Fail.com. Um, User-generated content, awkward moments on camera. So if it's a Flickr picture or a Facebook picture of an awkward moment, if it's a video on someone's cell phone of an awkward scenario, I've already done the research. They're blown up on YouTube. Everyone's got an awkward moment video. Very uh, people can relate to that, and very universal as well. Now, what are we doing? Just sourcing that content, or are we going to do something uh, with you're, it? You're you're taking their picture, their video, whatever as inspiration, and we're recreating that in, in a funnier way. Recreating their moment the funnier than moment. it's already funny. Exactly. Got got it. It. Yeah. My name is Akello. My concept is called Indy 380. We have three editors who are going to compete against each other to build a three men, a three minute. 180-second uh, documentary based on um, content that has been sent in the production company and feature artists in the music, graphic artists, post-production, reduction costs, uh, collaboration. We have everything together in one piece. Can you say, say it all again a little slower? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you still have 10 seconds left okay. on the clock. And I, 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 really, I do rehearse. <laughs> Basically, I mean, you have like visual effects and stuff. I'm gonna give you an extra 15 seconds. Basically, it's a, a contest where editors compete against one another to create content, and they or to create a, a three-minute video featuring a local indie artist, and collaborators send in inf uh, send in video content, uh, digital stills, music, and that they all use the same content, but they come so out with three different products. So we're giving editors source content. And source content, absolutely, content. and then cool. viewers um, vote on it and that Got kind it. of thing. Got it. Um, my name is Varda, and I would like to um, suggest a, a piece. It's called Citizen Denise. A friend of mine from Romania, brought up in communism, just became the very last citizen to become citizen of the United States yesterday, and I actually took a flip camera. She's the most recent citizen of the United States. She was the most recent citizen of the United States okay. yesterday. And so my idea, and she has no idea what America is all about. In fact, we went back into the judge's quarters after she became a citizen, and she had a friend there giving a Tupperware party. And the judge came in and was a little shocked because you're not supposed to be selling in the courthouse. So it's like a reality coming to America. She's going around, no, she's going around America searching to figure out what America is. Got because it. Cool. Yeah. And she's here and available this weekend? Yes, I have her on. Okay. Reality coming to America, yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm LJ. Um, so this is a idea based on, remember in school when you would write stories and people would write one sentence and then pass it and somebody else wrote the next sentence and at the end you'd have a whole story? Like a mad lib almost, but right. Yeah, it's like it. pass it on. Yep. Um, and so the idea would be to serialize every week you would have a different emotion because everybody has feelings. So you would do anger, jealousy, joy, sadness, etc. and you would have the audience write the story and then we would produce it based on a feeling. Mm -hmm. It has a social, Instagram, you know, all kinds of stuff can be done with that. So obviously the team Social would have to do the first one. With, uh, with a prompt. Yeah. Got it. OK, well, we, we, you talked a little bit about uh, stylish and elevating content. And, and also you talked about uh, uh, maybe through our video providing the tools for other people to, to do the same because they see how easy it is. I think for me in terms of film is when I see a movie that's very simple and made with very little money when I go and write a lot. So my idea here is to um, maybe do like a horror film satire, but a 30, you know the 30 second spot is dying, the 30 second spot in advertisement. So maybe show the people how the 30 second spot of a very stylish product is very easy to do. It's this cliches, you have the slow motion, you have the detailed shot, you have a, a shot of lights out of focus at so night. It's like a mock you commercial. Exactly, so we show them how we make the 30 seconds the last 30 seconds of a two minute video will be the commercial. But first we show them what are the cliches and then right. they can come up with every single part but not only they can make their commercial, Got it. we can take half of yours and half of yours and half of yours and because they're modular, Mash we just make commercials out of content. Got it. Cool. Excuse me, talk into the microphone so you don't wave around. Yeah, I'm from Spain. <laughs> 
right. Uh, I'm waiting for that number to turn. Um, who likes bacon? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, who likes cupcakes? Uh, which, which group do you think is more passionate about the food? Bacon, exactly. What if bacon and cupcakes had a duel? Uh, I want to create a show. I, I run the largest food-themed social network on the web. We're a two-time Webby nominee for Best Social Network. We lost to Twitter last year. I'm pretty pissed. Um, but I know community, and I know food, and I know that people are extremely passionate. I have a friend who literally figured out in bacon, he has eaten bacon that is seven miles long. If you put them out, you string them. That's 30, 35,000 feet. That means... As high as you go in a plane. What's the, what's the, what's so the thing? basically, each episode, uh, the, for the first episode, two ingredients would go head to head. So like bacon versus cupcakes. We would reach out to Twitter. We'd reach out to the food editors we know. We reach out to the food bloggers we know, and we say, "Hey, send us your pictures. Send us your content. We're going to create the battle, the ultimate battle, to see which one is the best." And that's placing your vote. Then that's just the beginning of the conversation because once that video goes up. They have video comments and, and comments that can actually yep. continue that conversation. So it's really just a starting point to find out why are people so passionate, to find out when you're at the dinner table, you start talking about food, but it goes into how was your day, and interesting things start to happen, and stories start Thank to be told. Cupcakes. Exactly. Got it. Cupcakes will win, by the way. They are not dead. I watch a lot of viral videos, uh, but what I'm really interested in is what do our viral videos say about our culture and our society? So what I'm proposing is we uh, start as content creators uh, making sketches, videos that happen not, we don't comment on viral videos, but we make expo expositional videos. We make what, ha like what happened before, you know, Rebecca Black made the video. What happened before that? We try to make our own videos that say something about how we interpret this event and why did this become such a phenomenon, but then, we put that on a site where we encourage other people to make their own version of it. So we're almost showing, hey, this is something, this is my point of view based on my video, what's mm -hmm. yours? Got and it. then we could, if a brand sponsors it, you can have it, you can make we're it a contest. We're making the prequel of viral videos. Yeah, it's the prequel, it's, it's how did we get there? And cool. then whoever maybe has the best one, we could have people vote on it and they get some sort of prize. Sure. Uh, hey there, I'm Raymond Cinemato. My idea is that, um, you take a massive multiplayer game or some sort of uh, large game or an idea and you create uh, a game and a show that both correlate with each other. Basically, from week to week, the missions and the quests or whatever that occur within the game affect the storyline that we watch each week in the show. So people who are playing this game can go on this big quest with a group of people or something or a mission and you know, defeat some demon or some large organization or something. And then we see that the effects of that on the show that we're watching and, you know, characters. And then are we adapting the game to the video and the video to the game? Exactly. The video adapts to the game and the game adapts to the video based on what the players are doing in the world and what the characters in the show are doing. Got it. Got it. 